Assalamu alaikum. Dear my students, today I'd like to introduce to you Unit 11 in vocabulary. Unit 11, we now classify our words in from 1 to 20, but we are going to study from 1 to 10. Then we are going to have another video about the other words from 11 to 20. The first word today, it means enough, and this sign means it's enough. Okay, the word, first word is adequate. Adequate. Adequate means enough. And it's mainly an adjective, meaning enough or satisfactory for a particular purpose. The opposite of adequate means insufficient, not enough, not suitable, not okay, enough for something. The example, have we got adequate, okay, adequate food for 20 guests, adequate food for 20 guests. Um, if you look at the door, you are going to find that it is not completely closed, okay, a little bit open. This is the word today. Door ajar. The word here means okay. Ajar. Ajar means an adjective or adverb, this part of speech, and it means describe a door that's slightly open. Slightly open. Ajar. Opposite okay or antonym is closed tightly. We left the door as we left the door ajar so that we could hear um, what they were saying. Come on, they are spying on them. Ajar means slightly open number three from this picture that you see see two persons are talking with each other this is called what dialogue it's called dialogue it's mainly a noun this part of speech and the meaning a conversation which is written for a book or a play or a film the opposite of dialogue it is monologue it's what monologue monologue when the actor is talking directly to the audience the play contains some very snappy and witty dialogue. Act 2 begins with a short dialogue between the father and son. This is um, a very famous one for the Egyptians, and this is the symbol of um, the flag you know, for um, the Egyptians. Okay, this is called emblem. Called what? Emblem. Or a symbol. Meaning a picture of an object which is used to represent a particular person, group, idea, or what? Or a symbol. Uh, synonym, badge or insignia insignia okay badge or what insignia as you see the raised rose is an emblem for love that's clear symbol or emblem for this if you look at this picture you'll find a huge bull huge one huge male cow it's what called gigantic it's called gigantic it's mainly an adjective meaning huge or giant huge or giant gigantic Antonyms means tiny or dominative. Tiny means a very small in size. The next one, the cost has been gigantic. The cost has been what? Gigantic. If you look at this picture, you're going to find much miss. You're going to find much miss. When you think about much miss like this, it's called what? Havoc. Havoc. It's what? Havoc. It's mainly what? Noun. You say that havoc, not havoc. Havoc. Okay? Meaning confusion and lack of order, especially causing damage or trouble or destruction. It's like destruction. Okay. Antonym peace and quiet. Peace and quiet. Without fighting, without war, without destruction. Intact. Intact means uh, without any destruction. Okay. Or term. The storm wrecked. Wrecked means caused in. Havoc in the garden. Great destruction. In the during the, the winter and in cold nights, people are using fire, especially in the chimney. When they have something um, like this, they put the wood in this place or the the area in front of it. This is called what? Hearth. 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 It's a noun meaning the area around the fireplace or the area of floor in front of it. In yani, the area inside, it's called what? Hearth. The area outside, in, okay, inside, outside uh, the burning place is called also at hearth. Um, synonym, it's like chimney corner. This place is called chimney corner, but not the chimney itself. This is hearth. Uh, a bright fire was burning in, in the hearth. Hearth. Number eight, if you look at this man, he is imploring, he is begging, he is asking, he is requesting. That's okay. Um... So this word today is called imblor. Imblor is a verb, 
and meaning to ask someone to do or not to do something, but in a very sincere and emotional and determined way. You ask sincerely, eagerly, without stopping. Antonyms, clamor for make um, loud voice. Clamor for means make, making loud voice. Okay. She implored her parents not to send her away to school. Not send her away to school. This is uh, the case for most students. They, they don't like and implore their, especially when they are still in KG or maybe grade one and two lower grades, all they implore um, not to go to school. And this is something common like this. Um, from this picture, you can see a man is looking down and he is vague for us. He's not clear. We don't know uh, his identity. Okay, this one is telling today about the word that we have. It's infamous. Infamous. Infamous, infamous means famous for something considered bad. Infamous. Like notorious, we studied this one in unit 10. It's what notorious. It means famous for bad actions, for crimes. Antonyms, the opposite, glorious, splendid, something amazing like this, or famous for, okay. The last included, the infamous George Drake, it's a criminal, a double murder, a double murder, this double a positive, modifying George Drake. Number 10 today, I think from this picture you see numerous people, countless people, that it's hard to count them, like the hair. The hair is difficult to be counted. But this one is called innumerable. Innumerable. Innumerable, it's an adjective, means countless or too many. Opposite of one, okay, it's what few, okay, and countable one. The project has been delayed by innumerable problems, many problems, okay. This is the lesson for today, words from 1 to 10, that's okay. Um, I wish you start studying them. And inshallah, we are going to continue for the rest from 11 to 20 for next time. Thank you, my friend.